Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing the problems on permutations and combinations. This is the last session in P and C, permutations and combinations. Uh, see the first question in this session. From 5 officers and 7 javans, in how many ways can 4 be chosen to include exactly 2 officers? Exactly 2 officers. Total we are having 5 officers. Total we are having 5 officers and 7 javans. 7 javans. We need to choose total 4. We need to choose total 4. According to the given question, out of 4, we need to include exactly 2 officers. Exactly 2 officers. If there are exactly 2 officers, automatically out of 4, 2 officers are completed. Exactly 2 officers. Not more than that and not less than that. So, automatically the remaining 2 are javans only. Remaining 2 are javans. Now, we need to select 2 officers out of total 5. We need to select 2 officers out of total 5. It will happen in 5 C2 ways. Here selection is nothing but combination. So, we need to take the combination. Total 5 officers are there and we need to select 2 out of them. That is happened in 5 C2 ways. 5 C2. And coming to this case, total we are having 7 javans. Total we are having 7 javans. Now we need to select 2 out of uh, 7. It is possible in 7C2 ways. Why? Because uh, here also we need to select the 2 javans out of 7. Now 5C2 and this is 7C2. Total we need to include 4 members. We need to choose uh, 4 members. Till then you need to multiply only. Why? Because here 2 officers and 2 javans. 2 officers and 2 javans. Then only we will get uh, total 4 members. Uh, end indicates the multiplication sign. Right? 5C2 into 7C2. What is 5C2 value? 5 into 4 divided by 2 factorial. That is 2. Into 7 into 6 divided by 2 factorial which is 2. Here it is 2 times. And here it is uh, 3 times. 7, 3 is so 21. 21 into 10. 21 into 10, 210. Therefore, number of ways which is equal to 210. Number of ways in which uh, exactly 2 officers uh, need to be chosen out of uh, total 4 members uh, and uh, 5 officers are there and 7 javans are there. So, the required answer for this question is uh, 210 ways. Let's move on to the next question. This model is very important. Listen carefully. There are six students appear for an examination. There are six students appear for an examination. In how many ways can the result be announced? Here this problem is uh, looking very easy. But if you know the concept, then only it is possible to get the answer in a simplest manner. But if you don't know the concept, it is definitely a difficult task. So, here the understanding of question is important. Six students appear for the examination. Total six students are appearing. In how many ways can the result be announced? Here, any student, if any student is appearing for the examination, the result is either pass or else fail. Student can pass or a student can fail. That is total how many possible results are there. Only two possible results. Two possible results, right? The student can be either pass or else fail. Why? Because he is appearing for the exam. He is appearing for an exam. So, definitely either he will pass or fail. Two possible results. Likewise, how many students are appearing? Six students are appearing. For each and every student, uh, two possible results. Likewise, total six students are there. Therefore, the required answer for this question is uh, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Likewise, total six students. 
each and every student two possible results and you need to multiply all the values. So, the resultant answer becomes 2 power 6. The resultant answer becomes 2 power 6. So, and uh, there is a chance of asking the similar model whereas coming to any kind of uh, games. Suppose if you are playing a chess game. Suppose if you are playing chess game, there is a chance of getting result. Uh, three results are possible. One is uh, win, one is lose and the third one is tie. Any three. Any three is possible. Three possible results are possible if you are playing a chess. Not only chess, any other games like cricket, uh, whatever the game, uh, whatever the sport we are playing, uh, three possible results are. In that case, uh, you, your answer will be three power something, okay? Based on the number of uh, matches, okay? Next one. Last question in this session. An examination a minimum is to secure in each of five subjects for a pass. Here the condition is directly mentioned that in an examination a minimum is to secure in each of the five subjects. Total five subjects are there. Minimum marks should be secured in order to get pass. Right? Now the question is in how many ways can the student fail? Student is fail if he fails in any one of the subject, right? If he fails in any one of the subject, whenever he is writing the exam, there are two possible cases. Uh, results are either pass or else fail. Either pass or fail. Now, total how many possible cases are there? Total possible cases. Here, in first subject or second subject, third subject, fourth subject, in each and every subject, two possible results are there. One is pass and one is fail. Therefore, total possible cases are 2 power 6. Sorry, 2 power 5. Only 5 subjects are there. 2 power 5, which is equal to 32. Total possible ways are 32 ways. 32 ways. But according to the given question, in how many ways can a student fail? Out of all these 32 ways, only only one way is pass. One way is pass. That way is nothing but in each and every subject, in all the five subjects, uh, that particular student pass. Then only he will pass. In remaining all cases, uh, that particular student will fail. If he fails in when any one of the subject, definitely he will fail. Therefore, the required number of ways. The required number of ways. It means a student can fail, which is nothing but a total number of ways minus 1. We need to subtract only 1. Why? Because student is pass only if he pass all the subjects. So, we need to subtract that particular way. 32 minus 1, which is nothing but 31. In 31 ways, student is fail. That is the required answer for this question. Guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed the session and uh, you can understand all the problems uh, in permutation and combination. And uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.